Diane Kopevsky here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Think Network event, which is happening next month in the Merchant Hotel, the 29th of August at 5 p.m. in aid of Autism NI. I'm one of the speakers at that event alongside a brilliant panel of speakers um, and the topic being resilience. My, I'm going to talk a little bit about resilience in children and young people. A little bit about my journey about how I came from a background in the legal services um, I also worked for two of the large accountancy firms and how really I came into a career uh, working with children and young people. Over the past 20 years we've built ourselves up to be the largest childcare provider in Northern Ireland with one day nursery and 17 wraparound care facilities working within primary schools. And our main objective is to build resilience amongst children and young people as well as provide flexible and affordable childcare for working parents. And we're working a lot in collaboration with other corporate organisations, businesses and schools to, to drive that message forward. Um, so when I'm talking about child building resilience in children and young people, I'm going to talk a little bit on, on the night about play deprivation and the devastating effects it's having on the mental health and well-being of young adolescents. Um, something we really need to be thinking about in Northern Ireland with the shocking statistics we have in terms of mental health and well-being of young adolescents. So I want to really focus in, in, the, in play deprivation and the importance of play in children and young people, especially on the first thousand days of a child's life and according to UNICEF, which are the most fundamental days from conception right up until the age of two. I want to talk a little bit about children growing up now in terms of their, their life. Quite often children are timetabled from early morning until late evening um, and they don't have time and freedom to make choices of their own and that really goes against the grain of what we're wanting um, people whenever we're employing them in 20 to 30 years time of thinking outside the box. So a lot more to talk about um, but I look forward to seeing you at the event.